Ladies and gentlemen, the four semi-finalists have now been found for our eight-man eliminator, so we're going to give them a breather. While we wait for the semis, we're going to switch it up with MMA. Yes. The best of two five-minute rounds. Please welcome, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Combat Academy, Aaron Toad. He is trained by the hangman, Daniel Hooker. Tate him up, Aaron Tote. He was the winner of Daniel Hooker's scholarship to train at the Combat Academy, and he's very quickly moved into contention. He's a very, very strong and skilled MMA fighter, making his way to the blue corner. Two five-minute rounds of MMA action. The hangman, Dan Hooker, will be joining us in the commentary box a little later. But first up, he has to guide his man, Aaron. Chase him up, Joe. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, representing Shudakin MMA, Logan Price. from Shurigan MMA. Jason Force, of course, the head coach there. And uh, they're primarily striking MMA fighters, which will be interesting. Toe came from a grappling background. Remembering, too, in MMA rules, takedowns, ground grappling, striking from the ground and pound position is allowed. Logan Price looks happy to be here. He's in the red corner. Wearing the MMA shorts. Price is older. He's slightly We're lighter. Doing MMA and, uh, style in terms boxing of the ring. record, he lacks a lot of experience. OK, introducing the principles. Firstly, he fights out of Hangman's Gym. He weighed in at just under 65 kilos. Impressive fight record with six wins. One loss. He is a FXXC Bantamweight Champion of New Zealand. Please give it up for the man they call Aaron. Tuzuma Toad. His opponent representing Shurikin MMA has had two fights for the one win. He's an orthodox fighter. The Waka Oceania featherweight bantamweight champion. They call him the Pitbull. He's Logan Price. Your referee for this contest, the best of two five minute rounds, is Neil Swales. Come on, gentlemen, come on. Veteran referee Neil Swales. Okay, so we've been through the rules backstage, okay? Just remember to defend yourselves at all times and listen to me at all times. Any questions, Logan? Any questions, Aaron? Touch gloves if you wish. Back to your corner, get ready to fight. Logan Price coming out of the red corner on the MMA. Colourful trunks. Fight already. The engaged Fight black and up. gold shorts. Aaron takes him up toe. Toe very strong. Dan Hooker said he gives him trouble with his strength. Price getting the... Underhook early, preventing the takedown. Controlling the wrist, wrist control. And it's not like being in the cage because uh, the ring doesn't offer the same ability to push someone up against the cage and work for the takedown. Just remember, this is two five-minute rounds. Nice low kick from Aaron Tazemapto. Logan Price. Not really leading off with his hands, not taking advantage. There's a big overhand right. Toe goes straight in looking for the takedown. Using the knees, try and create room. Jason, that's stall, mate. That's stall. Again, that left. Both hands, the underhooks underneath the armpits of Toe, preventing him from dropping down for the double leg. Looking for the legs trip there. 
Not a lot of dirty boxing at this point. Elbow on the inside from Price as he's pressed up the head, up under the chin. Good tactic from a shorter man against a taller man. Prevents him. Space doesn't allow him to leverage. Logan Price will be looking. He's dropped a little right elbow there, not particularly effective, but he's will be. There's a big knee from the man from the Shuriken gym. He'll be looking to try and turn him into the rope. Good forearm elbow. Trying to connect the hands. Turns the corner nicely with the single leg takedown. Straight into half guard. Aaron takes him up toe on top. He'll be quite happy to consolidate this position and look to get some ground and pound action from there. Already looking. Remember, this is a five minute round. He's just putting the hand in front of the face. Logan Price turning in. He's got the underhook. He tries to go for the butterfly as he regains full guard. But not really a position that you want to be in. Good in jujitsu. But when you've got someone raining down shots, you don't want to stay on the bottom for too long. You want to look for the opportunity, put the ankles or the heels on the hips and stand up. Toe very heavy. I haven't seen much of a look from Price and trying to get his guard up high. I'd like to see him try and pressure away on the head of Toe, try and create enough gap. Heavy top pressure from Toe, but he's not raining down a lot at this point. He's not posturing up. Open guard from Logan Price. Keep it in, gentlemen, keep it in. Boys are just creeping towards the edge of the ring. Could be a case of a reset. Keep it inside, Keep it inside. Toe very strong, but comes from a jiu-jitsu background, so he knows what to do both on top and from his back. Now, Price trying to work himself towards the corner where he can use it to stand up, but Toe, wise to that, keeps the pressure on. Heavy pressure. Those forearms, now he's starting to use the hands against the face, the little elbow, Anderson Silver style. Skipped over nicely into side control. Logan Price putting that forearm up. He ideally needs to turn in here. And he does, looking for the underhook there. And you can see his right arm just underneath. Toes up, and again, he turns up, gets up well. Front headlock position. From Toe, just putting his weight down, controlling the head. He hasn't got room to swing around and take the back at this point. Might look to secure a guillotine if Price isn't careful and tries to step up too early. Price will be looking to step out. There he goes, looking to, there it is. Looking for the arm and guillotine at this point. Doesn't have the leverage on it. Just dragging him down. Full weight on Logan Price's neck. Work to get up there from Price. Now, he's a long way behind in this round. Toe has had dominant positions throughout. Now, oh, there's the end of the round. Dominant round from Toe. He didn't do a lot from top position, but he held the superior position. Logan Price did manage to get back to his feet, but he was quickly dragged down into the front headlock, and then good control from Toe. Dragging him back down to the mat on several occasions. Let's get that on the back of his mat. That's a beautiful round. Yeah. It's exactly the fight we prepared for. So I want to repeat the same process. Yeah. Keep the same process. That's beautiful. So you, nice everything we practice is all there, isn't it? He looks the same. Same game, one, overhand right, blur. Okay, close run. I need you to win this round, brother. I need you to win this round. He finished in top control, eh? We've got one more round. Don't respect him. Let's go. Go, baby. Come on. Well, Logan Price has been told he needs to win the round. That's pretty obvious. Two five-minute rounds, and uh, 
Five minutes is a lot longer than a three minute okay. round physically. Takes a lot of effort to hold someone down, or if you're oh, on the bottom, to try and regain your footing and get back up again. Ready, go. Taze him up, Aaron Toke. It is back to us, the shorter man of the two. Logan Price has been clipped a couple of times. He looked for the double leg there. Hand kick was caught. Now Toe is on top. Back inside control. Dan Hooker is calling his man just to prevent that underhook from coming under. Now, although he has control there, looked to take the back, but he was too high. Logan Price landed a little uppercut, managed to get to his feet again. Nice left kick there from Aaron Tazemato. Logan Price just waiting a little bit too long. And he's extending his right hand a little bit, which will make him vulnerable to a left hook. He hits a right hand there. But if Toe lands the left hook or throws the left hook afterwards, the chin will be exposed. Again, Price is not using his range, not using his lead hand, and that's allowing the shorter fighter to back him up. And that was nice work from Price. He doubled up with the one-two and looked to fire the knee. That's what he needs to do. At this point, he doesn't look like he's checking the leg kicks either. Nice work from Toe. This, looking for the single leg, trying to connect the hands together. Can't run his man down. He'll have to turn him out again. And again, he turns the corner. Logan Price defends that. Price has got the underhook in. Wrist control. Price comes off the break there. But he's still giving Aaron Toe too much respect and backing off. There's that left hook. Nice left hook counter there from Price. And again, Toe's a little vulnerable when he throws those leg kicks. Needs to be aware. Goes for the takedown, good sprawl from Price. Now he's looking to secure the hands. Toe having to fight the hands on the inside to protect the guillotine. He's out of danger there. Price fighting out of the break well. Been around so far from Logan Price defensively. Toe's just now struggling a little more to bridge the gap. Couple little short uppercuts, and again, you see the right hand of Logan Price controlling the left hand of Toe. He's got an overhook on his left hand side where he goes over the shoulder. Hit and hurt, uppercut, Lennox Lewis style, big right hand. Nice work from Logan Price, bumps him off the shoulder. Winning this round so far, Price. Landing cleaner shots. It's a five-minute round, a long way to go. So looking for the takedown again. Use the hands to set it up. Looking for the leg trip, or maybe a judo throw. There we go. He's got double underhooks around the body. Prices managed to get one of those arms back. Toe looking to try and connect both hands underneath the armpit. Price again controlling the wrists. You can see there just controlling the wrist, preventing the double up or the dirty boxing. Price using the forearm again, looking to turn. That knee went dangerously high, went into the chest, but uh, creating that room against the shorter man. Big body shot again, toe persistent, looking for the double leg. Head up underneath the chin. Little chopping shots. He's just struggling to get rid of that overhook that Price is holding. You can see Dan Hooker there in the corner calling instructions. Calling for him to chip away. Looking to use his range, countering well. 
Coe getting tired as it's spending a lot of energy. Well, it is going to be interesting. Two five-minute rounds. For mine, Price came back in the second half of the second round. Coe was the aggressor. And I think Price landed more shots. And there wasn't enough take down or submission attempts from Toe to negate the pressure that Logan Price landed. He landed that head kick, he was taken down. He managed to get back to his feet. And then from there, landed some good shots. Toe struggled to get him down. He started to become sluggish. And Logan Price landed nicely, particularly out of the clinch. Good defense, used the whistle well. depend on the second round whether they scored the takedown that Toe landed or the dirty boxing and the work out of the clinch from Logan Price. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges' scorecards are in. It was close. Judge one scores about 19 all. Judge two scores about 20 to 17. And judge three scores about 20 to 18. Winner by majority decision. Fighting out of the blue corner. Secured the takedown early in the round, that was enough to get him across the line.